Greetings! Today I want to figure out all questions related to the Tesla hairpin circuit from A to Y. One Z question remains to be unsolved. Let me show you my circuit diagram. Here I have a grid at 212 volts, 50 hertz, bridge rectifier that provides a polarized current uh, ballasting resistor, a 40 watt lamp a high quality capacitor, a silicon controlled rectifier that control the discharge of the capacitor and uh, it's controlled by the Schmidt trigger with an adjustable threshold voltage so I can uh, uh, control the maximal voltage on the capacitor. Uh, here we have a hairpin equivalent, a small coil and the uh, ampermeter that will help us to figure out what's uh, happening. Uh, here is the uh, equivalent circuit. We have a plus uh, 212 volt ballasting resistor, uh, capacitor, thyristor, and uh, this shoulder of the circuit uh, relates to the load. load. And this to the hairpin. The load has a high ohmic resistance, low inductance, and and low capacitance. And the hairpin has a low resistance, high inductance, high capacitance. So during the charge cycle of the capacitor, the current flows like this through the a hairpin and it's a uh, um, maybe low uh, low speed uh, current as the uh, DIDT characteristic of it is uh, relatively low uh, so the impedance of uh, hairpin is uh, much lower than the impedance of the load so the current flows through the hairpin when the Thyristor fires up. Uh, the dy dt characteristic, the speed of current uh, change, um, is um, being very high. So the impedance of the hairpin uh, climbs up dramatically, and the current starting to flow through the load. So it appears to be that uh, on the load we can have only a uh, uh, high uh, current change rate and uh, it can explain the effects of the absence of electrolysis uh, of the uh, harmless to the man um, and uh, all kind of these effects but the only effect that remains unexplained uh, Z effect is um, why do we observe the decrease of uh, total power consumption when we connect a load here so let's fire the system ballasting resistor is on here we have a load, a small diet connected to the coil. This is just a small toy that indicates the proper work of uh, this realization of Tesla hairpin circuit. Also, I have a uh, scope probes hook up to, to the base of the thyristor and uh, to the load wire let me show you the scope shots it's probably world world first scope shots from a tesla hairpin circuit directly uh, the upper signal is from a uh, base of the thyristor and the lower signal is on the load so we see that uh, it's kind of 
we have here a double uh, double on on the on the thyristor. It's uh, related to the parasitic parameters of the thyristor, and uh, so it explains the such a odd waveform uh, that we observe on the load. Uh, I don't know at the moment how to get rid of it and uh, see the clear uh, picture, but uh, nevertheless, here is the uh, parameters. So here is the point of the Z question of the incre decreasing of the input uh, power when we uh, disconnect the load. So you can see it. It's, it's really a mystery. And uh, I made a few experiments. I connect the potentiometer. It's uh, 100 ohms potentiometer, and uh, looks through the dynamics uh, of the input uh, power consumption and the uh, consumption on uh, ballasting resistance. And uh, look what I've got. Here is a chart uh, of uh, power consumption. The uh, upper line is um, uh, consumption uh, of a uh, uh, whole circuit, the power input of the circuit. Uh, the red line is uh, uh, power consumption on the ballasting resistance, a 40 watt lamp. And uh, the green one is a consumption on a um, load, load resistance. So we can see such an odd diagram. Uh, that uh, I can explain in the moment and uh, I really appreciate the comments about it and uh, it's really a riddle for me at the moment and the COP uh, of the system like this and uh, the rest uh, percentage uh, we lose uh, probably at the thyristor because it uh, has some ohmic resistance too. So, this is it. Thank you for watching.